Now this is your Millikan's oil experiment. If we talk about motion under gravity, the gravitational force acting on the oil drop downwards is equivalent to 4g is equal to 4 by 3 pi a cube rho into g where a is the radius of the oil drop, rho is the density of the oil and g is the acceleration due to gravity. Let's talk about the Millikan's oil drop experiment with the motion under gravity. The upthrust experienced by the oil drop due to the displaced air is 4 by 3 pi a cube sigma into g where sigma is the density of air. So, the network downward force acting on the oil drop is equal to weight of the oil drop minus upthrust experienced by the oil drop. So 4 by 3 pi a cube rho into g minus 4 by 3 pi a cube sigma into g. So it's 4 by 3 pi a cube rho minus sigma into g. Since the oil drop attains a terminal velocity v, the net downward force acting on the oil drop is equal to the viscous force acting opposite to the direction of the motion of the drop. So the net downward movement is equivalent to, uh, to the viscous force acting opposite to the direction of the motion of the oil drop. For the moving when by Stroke's law the viscous force on the oil drop is 6 pi a n b. So where n is the coefficient of viscosity of air. So this is we can call it as nu 2. So 4 by 3 pi a cube rho minus sigma into g is equal to 6 pi a nu and b. The radius of the oil drop can be calculated as a is equal to 9 nu b by 2 into rho minus sigma into g power 1 by 2. Now we will talk about a motion under electric field. The air inside the parallel plates is ionized by sending a X-ray. The droplets have pick up one or more electrons from the ionized air. Let Q be the charge carried by the droplet under observation. And E be the electric field applied between the plates A and B. So that the drop move upwards with a terminal velocity V1 which can be determined using the microscope. Moving further to find your electric field, the force on the droplet due to electric field is EQ. Since the velocity of the droplet is uniform, we have your EQ is equal to 4 by 3 pi a cube rho minus sigma g plus 6 pi a nu v. So now I am trying to give EQ minus. So the entire thing I moved it here to the left became minus. Now substituting the value got EQ is equal to. Now we are going to try to add the equation 2 and 4. We got this is the equation. You can go with this one. This is the equation. We got uh, instead of this one, substitute this one, you got 6 pi a nu v plus v1. Substituting the value of a in this equation, you will get eq is equal to 6 pi nu 3 by 2 v plus v1 into 9 into v 2 into rho minus sigma into g power 1 by 2. So this is your 
electric field generator while accessing the droplet or force on the droplet. So, this is the final equation of the electric field and force on the droplet. If V is a potential difference between A and B and D is the distance between them, E is equal to V divided by D. Millie can determine the value Q for a large number of oil drops using this equation and found that they are an integral multiple of your least value. The greatest common factor gives the charge E of the electron. So, the charge of an electron can be found as 1.602 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb. 